Right, so after the Spitfire shenanigans uh, with the Spitfire and Rain Times. Um, I need, I want to need, I say I've got Lancaster to do from them still. Um, to me the Spitfire is not a problem uh, because it was mostly brought for the box art anyway. Um, not the actual kit, I've built so many of those in the past, it's a shame. And it's missing things like the tailplane and under one of the carriage legs and it was actually started but um, in my in my particular case it's worked out alright because I'm, I'm just looking for box art. Um, but I would like a, another sort of single seat fighter to build before I get to the Lancaster. I want the Lancaster project to be something I do when I can guarantee the weather's going to be consistently okay for me to model, not when I'm trying to nip, nip in and out of, of things. We might see a few more from the old collection we brought out that are more like this. So this this kit, this is the Monogram 148 scale North American P51 must, D Mustang. The model with that bubble top canopy there, Royal Rose Merlin up front, the uh, iconic go-to version of the P51 for many people when they think of one. Now this is Detroit Miss as it comes in the box. That's the picture on the side. I'll show you that. This is 1991, uh, made in USA. Apparently, it won't be. It'll be made in made in Britain. 5207 is the product code. Skill level two. More challenging requires glue of 49 pieces. Now this was actually purchased not for me. This was actually purchased for Dale originally. Um, before it just became clear, it'd just be easier to buy one for him over there and send it how it sent to him. So I got him another one, and that went to the hogger, and this one stayed here, so hey, I'm as well build it. So let's open it up and see what it is. It is another second hand kit, and I've got to be honest, I'm quite surprised immediately. I, I haven't opened this, is you're seeing this, me open this for the first time, so if there's anything wrong with it, we'll see it straight away. Um, so Detroit Mess, the trunks actually do look in good register, which is quite incredible. So there's potential I could do it as Detroit Mess, so we'll come on to options, marking options later. Um, the instruction sheet is all there, which is good. It's a good start. Tells us how to build the flaming thing. Nice and simple. 17 steps, 18 if you include painting, 19 if you include uh, transfers. Right, the parts. The kit appears to be in its bag still. And there's the, there's the canopy. Excellent. Two piece as well, which is nice. We can pose it open if we want to. And on to the P51 itself. Now I could wax lyrical about the box art again, but I won't. Oh wow, it, it got, can do the, um, the gun, port, gun base open. You see the bits here, some bits come off the sprue, but everything looks like it is actually there. Well, the bag's never been opened. That bag is very brittle, very, very soft. You know, with age, but it's, that's complete. That's a complete unstarted kit. So, yes, this will be the next project. So, when it comes to um, transfers, though, and markings, I was watching Flory Models earlier before I went to Cosford. Oh, sorry. RF Museum Midlands now, so I'm to call it for some reason. Um, you know, remind the North they don't have a they don't have a uh, they don't have a version of the RF Museum. Good joke, guys. But anyway, um, it said something about they say said something about you know not risking all your hard work that you put into a model on on old transfers for the sake of ten quid or so, which is what they. It costs, this is a, a tin I use for my transfer collection. There's some moderari bits in here, which is those. And those. Masks for a millennium. That's uh, Thunder Chief. You're actually lucky you got it the side it came on. That's for a P47. Okay, so yes, for the sake of, as I say, for the sake of 10, 10 quid, we had to do a jump cut there because uh, for some reason my, my address was on show. In, in a note in here, um, but yeah, so and also there were some pins before which I might still leave in if I can. 
but uh, just because if you're just going to get upset at it, then uh, that's it's problem, not mine. A series of Ultra P47s, uh, more P47 stuff. That's not even aeroplane related, what they in there? But I don't know. Shackletons, more paint masks for Shackletons. An upgrade kit to do just Jane in one city two scale. Somewhere in here, in theory, somewhere in here we have got some P51 pointers. Okay. I know I've got some because I got the complete set for um, Big Vision for Dolls, which is what I was I had in mind. If not, that's what I'll have to go and sin and get some for. There's something from the 78th party group, so that's very swordfish. More, that's the 16, zero. Oh, 48 scale just Jane. More pinups, and um, that's what I'm. 48 scale D47. Mediterranean twin. What's this one? B47 again. What's this one? Mosquito. T38 linings. MiG-29. No mosquito. More mosquito. More B47s. Lancasters. More Lancasters. More Lancasters. More, more Spitfires. It must be, do you know, it's a few scale. More five Spitfires. I'll include a multiple one, that one. Serial numbers. Battle of Malta, RAF set. Some of these will have repeats in, of course. RAF Lutheran Code, 1985. Again. What I was looking for. And there's Tuskegee 72 scale. Onto the scale for the rest of these. There's some B24s, the Flying Tigers. There's my oh so important Shoo 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 Baby ones. More P47s. More B24s. Uh, 72 scale P51 early versions. We have to do an early version P51 build. I know Gary will like that, he likes his early P51s. Um, Bell of Birmingham and Biscuit Bomber. My, my Dakota Super 7 Dakota Bill, so it's the paint masks as well. There's no, zero paint masks. Underneath that, 48 Scouts Bitfires. But anyway. We're not looking at any of these, we're looking at um, the ones there, which is the Big Mood for Doll Special. And you know, I'm going to take out the non, the non aircraft stuff from here because I'm trying to keep it all. Yeah, it was um, not helpful. They try to keep it all uh, together in some sort of some sort of order, you know. Right. So let's put the lid back on that and put it to one side. So let's have a look. Recommended kits, time your P fifty one. Well you can't have everything in you know. it. Oh uh, dear. Well, we do have several options. Um, obviously, it's all John Land John D. Landers throughout his career, basically, on D models. Um, so it's when he's a major and the 38th Fighter Group and 55th Fighter Group. And then you got um, CO, Lieutenant Colonel. The CO was for the 57th Fighter Group. Lieutenant Colonel, 
CO70th Vodge Group, Duxford Eagles. The tank color again, 70th Vodge Group, and again. And then CO the 361st Vodge Group. Now, immediately, I think I'm going for one of these three. But not that one. I'll tell you for why. That one is how I want to do a proper Tamiya one. Full stuff on. Um, it's kind of a shame though, because you got the options to have the those, those uh, guns exposed and everything. But I was going to put this in the Daran with the fellow monogram kit, the BE-17. The shoo 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 baby. Have it chasing uh, a German fighter through the... Through the thing. The... the yeah. Chasing it away from the B-17. I mean, it's kind of nice. That one would be kind of nice because it fits in then with the. Uh, yep, the fact the kit came with the yellow nose. Let's see what, how many copies of our repeats we get. So I don't know if I actually opened this before. Limited edition, that's really, really, um, yeah, we've got to be careful then about which one, we, which, which one we're doing, how much we're using of each. Like this. Oops. Stencil stuff. So you get some more national insignia if you need them. Yeah, that's what I feared. You get enough to do one, one or the other. And in fact, the beautiful doll here uses these ones. Oh, that's clever. So you only paint the red or the green, and then you put the yellow the yellow transfers around. It's quite clever. It's so marking six, which is this one, Little Walden. Photo shown. Here knows that medium blue canopy rudder ring tip. It's possible to focus on ourselves as a black. Also changed to blue. To blue. Blackie marking five. Changed to blue. Yeah. Finally, blue for dawning plate on canopy and the feet. Oh, three. So six point five kill marks remain intact. So the cylinder should be this is how long I've used our code. As with other three first one period they should run to large cut curve from the left wing. Oh yeah. So what's going on with one and two both got D-Day stripes on them as well. What's going on with these? Got four kills in a P38. 44. Mm. Oh, it's called Texas Longhorn, so the big beautiful doll P38 then. Darn. Yes. Well, basically, what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to, go, have to go away and do some research. Oh, first off, research to see if I can get another set of this, this deco sheet. And if I can, try and nab those. After that, it's going to be a case of, um, well, based off that, if I can't, then it's going to be one of these two for the ceiling one. Because it uses different, we have different, uh, 
that's 49, 57, 70, 75, 85, and 85. So you need to share the kill markings of these last two. And WZI on this one is unique to it. So these two share one. But of course, as I say, the big beautiful doll writing is the same. That's why it's, it's, one of these two is good because it gives me the, the option of using these. And I would say probably the bot the second one, marking two, is my is my go-to at the minute. Um, December forty-four. The only thing then that really does, and this this does, you know, I think this needs to be done correctly, um, is to make sure that Shoo 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 Baby was still flying for the USAF Army Air Force AAF um, at the time of. Uh, well, December 44, so in theory, it is an outside possibility, you can't say, well, unless you looked at all the records, I suppose, you've had to definitely prove it one way or another, but it's theoretical that this P-51 could have escorted that B-17, because Shoo 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 Baby did have to divert into Sweden, I believe it was, uh, where it was converted to an airliner, essentially, and then before it went back to the States uh, after the war, and uh, was converted back into a normal B-17, but the work done to it was so extensive and the, it would have been hard to hide the damage which is why it's now green whereas in wartime it was silver so uh, yeah so i will go away and do that and when we come back for the next video hopefully there won't be noise people outside and i'll have it i'll have some more answers for you but yes hope that's tickled tantalized your taste buds i do say some about photographs I don't think we've got them. Anyway, thanks for watching.